with the 23rd pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Evan Engram, tight end, Ole Miss. Well, there's happy times for Evan Ingram in Powder Springs, Georgia. The Giants have really added some weapons, guys, on the offensive side of the ball this offseason. They get Brandon Marshall, and now they get a guy that can catch, Mel. And he's not a tight end. He's a wide receiver slash tight end. He's 6'3 and a half, 235 pounds. He's got length. He ran a 4'4", 240. You think about a guy with good strength as well, 22 reps, so his blocking is just okay. He needs to get better there. But you can flex him out. Stayed for his senior year, which was a wise move. Now he's a first-round pick where he would have been a second or third rounder. You see that 4-4-2 speed there, outracing defenders to pay dirt, consistently stretches the deep middle, gets easy separation. I tell you, he'll lower his pads and take one would be tacklers. Evan Engram, John, we had talked a lot about this kid and what he's capable of doing in today's NFL with the mismatch as he can create, moving him around. He's a guy, forget this tight end. He is a wide receiver type player coming into the NFL. Eli Manning will love having this kid. Very consistent catch the football. Had a great senior bowl week down in Mobile and then did a phenomenal job at the combine workout. Yeah, I think that's ridiculous calling him a tight end because he never lines up tight on the end of the line of scrimmage. He's a slot receiver. He's a guy you can detach. If you put his height and weight on the screen. He's the same size as Brandon Marshall, right. the man that they just signed. So clearly, another weapon for the New York Giants. Eli Manning's got to like it. The man has a 36-inch vertical and a lot of good awareness. Yeah, well, for the sake of the stat that I'm going to give you, I'm going to call him a tight end anyway. Look, the Giants' tight ends average 7.7 yards per reception last year. That's worse than the NFL. It's worse than the NFL. They need more. They need more production in the middle of the football field here. And look, they could have used offensive tackle. They could use a running back. They could still, they could use a bunch of things to still make this offense even better. But Evan Ingram is a matchup nightmare. You talk to people in the SEC when they played Ole Miss. They said this was the guy who scared you to death. This is a guy who will tear your defense apart. This makes the offense in New York all the more all the more dangerous. There's the captain. To announce the New York Giants selection, please welcome from South Carolina State University, 2006 Hall of Fame inductee, To announce the New York Giants selection, please welcome from the U, linebacker Jesse Armstead. World champion New York Giants with the 87th pick of the 2017 draft, the New York Football World Champions select David Webb, quarterback, California. I, I just got to admit, the New York, the New York Football World Champions. When was that? I don't know. I don't, I don't remember that. I know that. I know that there's a an yeah. annual preseason game between the Jets and the Giants. But anyway, Davis Webb is now gone. And uh, to the Giants, who who have Geno Smith backing up Eli this year, what do you make of this pick for the G-Men? We've talked an awful lot about some of the aging quarterbacks, and Davis Webb's got a live arm. Drops it in the bucket. Texas Tech transfer, one-year player at Cal. Went to the Senior Bowl. I thought he opened up an awful lot of eyes at the Senior Bowl. 
moves well enough. Really quick release, big arm. He's one of the five quarterbacks where you can make a case in this draft, maybe six, that they could start a game in the NFL and, and be a quarterback. So the Giants, like a lot of the teams with aging quarterbacks, are saying, like the Patriots, who have drafted three successors to Tom Brady in the last five years, we got to start taking a look at the next generation. We're live from Joint Base McGuire, Dix Lakehurst. I'm Devon Kennard with Landon Collins and Staff Sergeant John Brea and some other representatives of our military. And now, with the 140 pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Giants will select Wayne Goldman, running back, Clemson. Wait, what do you think about now him? It's certainly a need. <laughs> it's a need, but I don't know how much different he is from what they already have in Paul Perkins. I don't know if he distinguished himself in terms of his, his style of play or, or, or anything in that manner. But what I will say, he has a nice feel for running the football. He can go inside, has some slipperiness to his game, catches the ball pretty well out the backfield, doesn't exhibit like tremendous power in terms of running through contact but he's a guy that can get on the edges and make some plays happen it'll just be interesting to see what is the divide between paul perkins and wayne gallman uh paul perkins i think was a fifth round pick sounds about right go on. so i think you're talking about two similarly rated players two guys with similar games how do you decide which one deserves to be on the field yeah, Gallman for me is, uh, I don't know, there are games where I, I kind of like him and there are games where I just don't see the vision, I don't see the power behind the size, runs a little too upright. Uh, but there are other times you see him and you think, well, that's an NFL, you know, NFL backs look like that too. You like their draft? I mean, as we get a look at all their picks, uh, Evan Ingram, of course, that supreme athlete uh, at tight end. They draft their quarterback for the future, perhaps, they hope. They take a swing on a developmental prospect. I mean, I like, I like what they've done thus far. I like the first pick, Evan Ingram. I think he makes them really dynamic in the – Passing game, Dalvin Thompson is someone that filled an immediate need. He's a run stopper. Davis Webb has traits where he can be a developmental quarterback. You're not asking him to play right away. He gets to sit behind Eli Manning. So those first three I like. And the fourth round with Wayne Gallman, he is someone who will have a chance. I just don't see what the difference between he and Paul Perkins is. If I'm going to take a running back, I would like to have something different or someone that upgrades what we already have. Their draft is more mortar than brick to me. I mean, Dalvin's a fill-in guy who – you know, gives you something you need. Wayne Gallman's a second running back. Maybe he's a third. Maybe he's a one. You don't really know. Um, Ingram, I love. I love Ingram. But Davis Webb, I'm just not sure. He's another guy right now who's a, a potential backup that you can groom, might be a starter. But like I said, it's more mortar than brick. I don't see the big foundation piece. Out to the Giants pick in New Jersey. We're live from Joint Base, McGuire Dix, Lakehurst. I'm Justin Pugh, and I'm here with third class petty officer Robert Logan and my brother Staff Sergeant Michael Gavigan and representatives of our military. With the 167th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the New York Football Giants select Avery Moss, defensive end, Youngstown State. Go Giants! Go Giants! Go Giants! We got a couple of uh, Youngstown State players going in the draft here. You really want to know the truth, I think Avery Moss is a more NFL, uh, I think he's got a better chance to perform at a higher level in the NFL than Derek Rivers, his teammate. I mm -hmm. think he is a he is a slippery defensive end who has some very interesting traits, especially that length. And I think that, I, I, I don't know if this is the best possible spot for him, I think he might be a better fit as a 3-4 outside linebacker. But while Derek Rivers is a little more straight line, a little more face-up rusher, I thought Avery Moss had more of the NFL characteristics that you look for from a, 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 an edge-bending um, pass rusher. Here's the problem. He was at Nebraska, got in some trouble at Nebraska, mm -hmm. and had to go to Youngstown State. And I think that trouble has dogged him a little bit in some of the scouting circles. But I, I really like his potential, Buck. You know, you talk about being in the right fit and wondering if it's the right fit in New York Giants. If you think about Olivier Vernon, Olivier Vernon is a guy that is probably a more natural 3-4 outside linebacker type right. that was able to play in Miami, then he eventually landed that big contract with the Giants. Maybe he kicks in on that side, plays behind Olivier Vernon, learns how to play that position, and becomes a very, very productive player. He has some disruptive plays. You saw the splash play potential. He played at a higher level of competition early before dropping down. So you're beginning to think that 
the transition shouldn't be as hard for him as some other small school guys coming into the league. He was a good player. Like, like he, he was productive at Nebraska early on in his career. So I, this is a good football player. He really is. Well, and obviously you followed Bo Pelini uh, back to, to Ohio there. The fighting Pelinis. Yes, exactly. Uh, what is the cat one? Uh, but Bo Pelini. There we go. All right. Uh, <laughs> here is a look at the Giants selections. Thus far, they've had five of them through five rounds. Uh, one in each round, and you see filling some uh, holes on each side of the ball there. Yeah, you look at uh, defensively, you got an interior play. They needed some help on defensive line. They added that. Of course, the big guy at the top, Evan Ingram. You know, it's interesting. The Giants, it, it's like they said, all right, let's go get a guy who's going to make us incredibly dangerous, go from dangerous to incredibly dangerous. We'll add the potential, you know, a backup that we groomed to be the next starter for a 36-year-old quarterback. And then let's just start adding some pieces on defense. So you can see a strategy there. Early on, they're trying to hit what they need to to win now. And then after that, they're saying, all right, let's start to, you know, add. We're live from Joint Base, McGuire, Dix, Lake Horse. I'm Eli Apple here with the 2016-2017 National Military Youth of the Year, Ariana Skinner, and members of the McGuire Air Force Base flag football team. With the 200th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the New York Football Giants select as Adam Biznawadi, tackle Pittsburgh. Well, we've known they need alignment. Biznawadi, 6'5 and 5'8, 304, played left tackle at Pittsburgh, kicked inside, played some guard at the Senior Bowl, where I actually like them a little bit better. I think he's going to struggle on the outside against speed. The question is whether he's stout enough inside, strong enough inside to win. And I, again, I like them there at the Senior Bowl, so I'm not sure where they're going to line them up, but I do know with the Giants, they've got some needs. They probably can use a swing tackle, and that's probably where he's going to live year one as a swing tackle. And the Giants liked him so much, they did something we very rarely see. They, they actually traded up. They're like the Pirate, the Pirate. They're like the, the Steelers, yeah. where they're, they've got picks one through seven. They don't trade up, they don't trade down, they just stay put.